What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and today I'm talking about the end of furry YouTube. Um, recently it came out that Odin Wolf, one of the last furry YouTubers that actually are in their fursuit that was doing YouTube back when I got back into the fandom in the first place, his channel just got banned. His content on his main channel was fairly safe for work, as much as you can get with furries. And his alt channel, which was Nidoflow, was a very 18 plus talking about sex in the fandom and stuff like that got banned. And YouTube is not doing anything to try to bring it back. Odin's content being put down, dude was making a huh, lot of money from the ad revenue. His content stream has been put to a very sudden and abrupt halt from YouTube themselves. And another creator I really liked and that helped me through kind of a rough time was Monty Wolf. And while he didn't get banned from YouTube, his content stream took another massive hit because he did VR chat and Omegle. And Omegle is no longer a website. You go to the website and it's a big apology from the guy who was running it. And I didn't know it was just some dude. I thought it was Omegle Corp, which kind of sounds cool. <laughs> but with all of these YouTubers getting put in positions where they can no longer do the content they love to do, where does that put me? On one paw, I have an opportunity to fill a hole. But on the other paw, I go into this, I'm taking the exact same risks as the people who are no longer able to create content have taken. I go far in this, let's say I succeed and get a billion followers. Well, doesn't matter. YouTube can decide I don't need to exist anymore and delete my account. And with the way things are going, there's not a lot of other alternatives that'll work well and can actually give you a community base. With Odin's content being shut down entirely, where is another, where can you go to do this kind of content where you can get an audience that is actually large enough to pay the bills and do this full time? Um, I think Monty Wolf didn't do this full time, but it was a huge passion project for him. And I loved watching it, seeing the reactions of people on Omegle and, and stuff like that. That was extremely fun to watch. And now that with his content stream being shut down, it's really hard to see where they're going to go, both Odin and Monty. With, with the way that YouTube and Furry is going, I'm really scared to see where I can go. I'm a generally safe for work account. And with my content, I have a big focus on music. And that isn't gonna go away anytime soon. I don't think I'll get shut down because my music sucks. But my music might suck and that might be my downfall. Or a million other things. And it's hard because this was a hobby of mine that I've started trying to turn into a job. And when my focus becomes more about money and not the passion, it's complex to actually figure out what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? Who am I making this content for? These questions become a lot more important when you take a hobby and turn it into a full-time job. Just like an artist who's drawing, you know, your persona on commission, they have to figure out what is going to get them noticed so people with money will pay them to do the things that they want to do. And <laughs> on top of that, the whole world seems to be ending. So that's fun. That's kind of my thoughts on the matter. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. What YouTubers are you seeing that actually don't seem to have this kind of risk? Because it's scary to me. And I imagine there's lots of creators who might be watching this that it's scary for them too. And when it's not your job, it's a lot easier to be like, oh, well, that's just, that just sucks for them. But when you start seeing your basically coworkers start to lose out on their opportunities, it gets nerve wracking. So leave your thoughts below. Um, like and subscribe, the whole YouTuber thing. Um, for now, I'm gonna be trying to fill the void. Still doing a video a week, gonna be trying to get to two. And until next time, 
Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.